Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Stack and Perpetrator here. Uh, today's video is going to be another mail call. Um, and this is also going to be another shout out to Daniel at CoinHelpU and his Portsmouth uh, coin website. We're going to do a, a mail call. And kind of before I get into that package, I want to... I have some other things to point out that came from Daniel. Uh, back just before Christmas, I had sent Daniel some uh, CC Morgans and some semi-key date Morgans. They were all low grade, but um, he was interested in having them. He did a video on them. He put them on his site. Um, I saw eight of them show up the day he did the video, and within 24 hours he had sold those. So that was that was really good. But part of my appreciation, because I've been a customer of Daniel's for about two, little over, maybe two years, a little over two years now. And uh, everything I've got from him has been absolutely great. Um, I've actually sold him coins twice. It was pretty much as, you know, it was easy to send an email. And, you know, and uh, the second time email with some pictures. Uh, just a couple back and, you know, just, uh, let him look at them. He shot emails, you know, he responds real quick to the emails. And then it was just a matter of me sending the coins up. And we all know how mail runs sometimes fast, sometimes slow. But once he got the coins, as long, you know, he looked them over, everything was good. You know, uh, I checked pretty quick as fast as the mail runs runs the package back to me it uh it all uh it all worked out good so it's been a pleasure to work with daniel um but just before christmas i decided to uh, send him something because you know he does a lot of great work for the community with his videos and teaching and educating people and showing his coin buys and you know different things i had sent him a christmas gift and i told him you know what do you send somebody their favorite coins of morgan what do you get a coin dealer who's probably had bought and sold every coin in the collection but i found a special morgan and i sent it up to him as a christmas uh, gift didn't expect didn't want or expect anything in return but in my one of my orders coming back I thought it was awful thick and when I opened up the package Daniel had it included one of the 2021 Morgan dollars I won't go over the details of it we're all familiar of, with this and uh, he sent a little note and, uh, he said thank you for the gift and he said here's my Here's a token of my appreciation. Merry Christmas. And everybody, if you dealt with Daniel, you know his signature and everything. So, Daniel, I really do wasn't expecting it. I was I was really surprised when I got it. You didn't have to do that, but it was much appreciated. And uh, I just thank you for that gift. Uh, now, I did a video. I was... I had two packages and another video in another video where I opened up some other stuff and I said I was going to do a separate video on Daniel's packaging and while I was doing the video for that uh, something happened and even with editing the video I just didn't like the video so what I'm going to show you is what I got out of those two packages and one of them one of the packages had this 1892 Morgan dollar for my my second album set, but this one is the New Orleans. So little, uh, not quite a semi key date, but a little harder, little little tougher coin to find. So I had opened it up and actually put it in the album in the video but like I said the video just got just 
wasn't to my liking to put up. So uh, then the other package had this. I was on his site and I saw this. This is a West Virginia commemorative token, 1863 to 1963. This is sterling silver. If you've bought from Daniel, you know the stickers. If, well, if you've bought the rock coins, he puts them in the flip and they're always labeled. And I just thought this was really cool. My dad's side of the family is from West Virginia. So that was one of the reasons I wanted to get this. Now this is not a, this is not a uh, commemorative uh, coin from this is a this is a token. This is not this doesn't have a monetary value. It's the same size as our as a half, but it's just a sterling silver token. Well, anyways, I just had to get that. So that was in the second package. Now we're going to get to this package I just got. And some of you, some of you know that sound. So you kind of know what's in there. And get my, uh, I tease some of you that may be watching my videos for the first time. Uh, know that I tease with Daniel's packaging. It's like breaking into Fort Knox. So um, hopefully the guards are asleep while I attempt to, to uh, crack the bolt here. And, uh, we'll see what we got. Uh, they do awesome. I tease about the packaging, but it is really, really nice packaging. See, they they include the paperwork, so I'll pull that out later. I know where that is. And uh, package inside a package. But Daniel's packages will survive the mail system. And if your mail person leaves it out, your stuff's not going to get wet because they've they've done a really good job, really good job on packaging. It's about Daniel could uh, teach the mint something on packaging. So, anyways, I still can't use the letter opener on this because these things are too much for it. what we got All right. and if you know the sound you know that's the old green rattlers and let's see what we got let's show this one first this is MS 65 come on camera 1937, Daniel Boone, and the old green rattler. And 1937, that's a nice looking coin. Very nice looking coin. Now there's a trick to these rattlers. You see how he's in there the wrong way. And I need to straighten them up. And I think I have to go this way. Yep, there he is. And now he's right side up. So, kind of the trick to it is if you're looking at the front of your slab and you want your coin to go counterclockwise, then you rotate the slab clockwise and that will cause the coin to go to turn counterclockwise if your coins over this way and you want it to go clockwise then you would do the motion in the counterclockwise and you can center your coins up so it's 
one of those little tricks of the one of the little tricks you pick up and can pass on to others. I know some people with their their OCD. They don't like the coins in the wrong the wrong way. And this one looks like this has. Let me straighten him up a little more. That went too far. Still not a... I guess he has to be... There we go. Get him like that. Let's turn this over. Yeah, I guess it's not a, might be a slight couple of degree die rotation. That's a really nice looking, really nice looking coin. MS-65. So what I'm going to do is so I don't scratch the, get the holder scratched. I'm going to use one of these protective sleeves that are made for the slabs and then afterwards I'll fold that over and I'll peel that off and fold it over and tape it and then that way my slabs protected and won't get scratched because I, I, I'm not much on slab coins but I do like the old green rattlers they uh they uh, just something about them. This one has some old stickers on there. I'll have to get that residue cleaned off. Now this one is part of a collection that I have. This is the Columbia, South Carolina MS65, 1936. This is the D. MS65. And I have these because I, I'm a South Carolina resident. So this is, it's got a few scratches on there, but I'm going to put this in a sleeve just like I did the boon. I'll give you a good look at this. It's a very nice coin. Very nice. That's a palmetto tree. Come on, camera. Now, I got this. And I can't remember if I did a video showing these. But I already have an MS6436 Philadelphia with a cock sticker. Right, so I'll show you that. And you'd probably be hard pressed to tell the difference between this 64 and this 65. Especially since this one does have the CAC sticker. But, so that gives me the Philadelphia and the Denver in the Rattler, but I have the full, I have the set of them. Now, I'm actually going a grade down. If you go by the SAGS holder, 36D, this one has some gold toning around the edge. And, uh, I said I can't remember if I did, did a video, but because I'm getting this, I brought them out. And then I also have the S. Now, since I have the Philly and the D and the Rattler, I'm going to be on the search for the S in the old green in the old green holder. Now this one by Sags 64 Light Cleaning. This is the only S I've been able to find. And uh, we've looked it over. The dealer I got this from had it, and it was it, actually this was part of their personal collection. And uh, they gave me the opportunity. I bought 
I bought these three as a set at one time. But we've looked it over. I've showed this to a couple other people and they cannot figure out where the cleaning, if there was a light cleaning, where that happened at. Because you can see the cartwheel of luster just moving right there. On this side, you can see the same thing. That cartwheel just goes right on around. All right, so that makes, I have four. And when we get to, when I show you my typeset, we will... I actually have a fifth one because I have a raw one in my typeset collection of South Carolina. But I will show you that on a on another video. But anyways, bring these up again. I'll show you these. These were purchased from Daniel off his from Coin Help You off his Portsmouth Coin website. I will leave a link to Daniel's channel. And his website down below in the in the description. Here's the other, this is the West Virginia token that I got. Give me another brief look at that, just to show you. And uh, I guess I'll just shout out to you, Daniel. Please keep up the good work. You, uh, it's always a pleasure to to buy from your site. It's a pleasure to watch your videos and. And uh, it's very educational, very informative, and you're helping a lot of people. So you're greatly appreciated, Daniel. Anyways, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit the like button if you like what you see. Definitely drop me some comments down below. And we'll see you on the next video.